So he's, he's actually misled Canadians in believing that you're providing that. Chair, and, and thank you, Mr. Davies and Mr. Lisk, for your attendance today. I, I listened very carefully, Mr. Davies, to your opening statement. And uh, the hallmark, from, from my perspective, is the desire to restore public confidence and trust. It's no small wonder. It's going to be a, a large feat to accomplish. But it's no small wonder you state that because after nine years of Justin Trudeau, and his government, one of the most ethically challenged and corrupt governments this country has ever seen. Millions of Canadians are skeptical when they hear senior civil servants uttering words that trust us. We're going we're gonna to restore confidence in the program. We're going to restore the, the, the oversight that should have been there in the first place. This arm's length corporation, SDTC, was responsible for essentially doling out free money to the tune of almost $393 million to companies that were conflicted. It's no small wonder that the assistant deputy minister of ICED uttered the phrase, it was free money. This is almost a sponsorship scandal level kind of giveaway. Public confidence is shattered with the ability of this government to distribute taxpayer monies in a prudent and ethical manner. So if I understand you correctly, um, the current SDTC organization is under the umbrella of NRC, correct? Mr. Chair, it is not. It is not? No. They are with IRAP? Mr. Chair, the SDTC still exists as a foundation. It has an interim board. Its employees are still uh, employees of the foundation. Right. They're not part of the NRC. Okay. So the, who's who's supervising? Who's providing that daily supervision and monitoring of granting monies to these startup green companies? Who is doing that? Mr. Chair, uh, I believe um, Paul Booth was here on a previous testimony. He's one of the interim uh, interim board members, I believe, the chair. So the interim board is supervising as the board of SCTC the activities. So we have the one chair and we have two directors they're, they're, doing all the supervision. So is that correct? As I understand, sir, uh, there, Mr. Chair, there are three uh, interim board members and then the uh, management of SCTC. Okay. That run the organization at this time. And all right. So... They are providing the oversight on behalf of the federal government. Is that correct? And Mr. Chair, there's also, as uh, I understand it, there's a contribution agreement. Uh, I understand that. Between the department. So and the NRC state is not providing any oversight. Once we have taken on responsibility for the program. At the moment. NRC is not level. providing oversight, correct? Mr. Chair, I would, just, I would say that's accurate. Yes, and IRAP is not providing oversight. We'll be involved once the transition is taken Okay. Place. Well, according to the minister in his statement on June 4th, 2024, he talks about essentially the NRC providing a level of oversight. The actions were rooted in our commitment to transparency, accountability, upholding the highest standards of integrity, says the minister. As Government of Canada organization, the NRC is subject to rigorous and stringent oversight of its personnel and finances. This structure will help rebuild public trust while increasing accountability, transparency, and integrity. So he's, he's actually misled Canadians in believing that you're providing that extra layer of transparency and accountability, which is the furthest from the truth. That's not happening right now. You're going to move towards that in 2026, but money is being channeled right now by one board chair and three board members and the current SDTC organization, because no one was fired. The existing board of SDTC either uh, resigned in shame or resigned after public pressure. The current board chair found guilty of two ethical violations by the ethics commissioner, all of the directors resigned in shame. So what confidence can Canadians have moving forward that between now in 2024 and 2026, when the new corporation takes over, that there's any accountability, any transparency? How are Canadians supposed to feel confidence, sir, after hearing 
my exchange with you right now, what confidence can you give them? So, Mr. Chair, just a, a clarification that the transfer that uh, will be undertaken will be done within this year. Uh, so, and we would hope uh, if we can do that earlier, we will do so. The second is prior testimony has been given here from the department and SCTC the interim board uh, member who was here that spoke about the process they're undertaking and they've accepted the Auditor General's findings and actually they're reviewing all the files uh, with that in mind. And, uh, and that interim board was put in place, uh, I think, obviously because of the importance of public trust and the need to establish leadership at SDTC right now to do that work and to do that work before it's transferred to the NRC uh, in uh, the coming year. So it's certainly also that transfer will take place uh, hopefully in the fourth quarter of this fiscal year and we're endeavoring to make that happen. But in the interim, obviously, the, the testimony that's been provided here before by the department and the interim board has talked about them accepting those recommendations and taking that fully into account in the review they're doing right now. Thank you. So I'll leave them to speak to uh, Thank how you. they're operating.